Hey guys, and welcome back again to Brave Knight. As you can see, I bought a circuit board online. And if you bought a random circuit board online, you will not gonna get any protection case for it. And everything will be naked like this. Which is not good, of course. For example, if you are wearing a ring, and if you just did this when it's on, you're gonna short it. And you're gonna just burn it. And this stuff, as you can see, most of it are very expensive. And it's very hard to get. So, you have to keep it safe as much as you can. In case if you didn't know what that is, this is a temperature and humidity controller. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a case for any circuit board you have. And this case, we're gonna include the buttons, six input wires, to one output from the back. And also we have two digital screens and two LED lights. So the case that we have to make must include all this. This one, as you can see, is a little bit complex. So if I success to do a case for this one, anything else will be very easy. To do this, all we're gonna need is some plastic containers and some wood sticks. And that's it. So yeah, let's do it. So first, you have to choose the container that can fit your circuit board. This one can fit and this one too. But this one is better quality as you can see. I'm gonna choose a see-through one because as I told you, I have two digital screens and two LED lights. So I'm gonna choose a see-through case. So what we're gonna do now, the circuit board will be inside. We're gonna dig some holes for the wires. So now we solve the digital screens, the lights, and the wires problem. Now we only have one problem, the buttons. And these must be controlled from outside the case. This one will be sealed perfectly. So now we have to figure a way to make an outside button that can control these buttons from outside. So it's time to use the wood sticks. To make them, First, you have to make some of these cylinders. This is from paper and it's a little bit bigger than the wood stick. And then you have to fill it with hot glue. And before it's dry, you have to dig this one inside it. Not all the way in, just halfway in. Before it's dry, just do this. Just halfway in. And make sure it's straight. Now we successfully made the first button. Let's do this four more times. Once you did that, now it's time to heat anything and dig a small hole that can barely fit the button head to secure this thing here and prevent it from moving around. I used this screw to make a hole on the back of every one of them and this hole is almost the same size of the buttons. Okay, as you can see, the oil fit perfectly and the oil works fine. Now it is time to attach it to the container. It must be a little bit higher from the floor, so I'm not going to be able to do that here. So this one will be inside just like that. So now how we can attach it like that? To be floating just like this. So we have to build a chassis for it, or a chair, or whatever you can call it. On this motherboard, as you can see, there is four screw holes. You can use a long screw like this one if you can make it fit inside and fix and adjust the height but in my case i'm not gonna do that in my case i'm gonna build the standard for moody sticks sorry guys about the bad lighting and bad environment i recently traveled to egypt and that's me as you can see <laughs> This is my filming area right now. A sheep self stick on top of an empty cardboard to make it a little bit higher. And some sheep bit connected to a USB. So as you can see, I just removed the keyboard and mouse so I can film the video. Done. So I guess it's a little bit higher. I adjusted a little bit and now it's in perfect height. Now let's dig some holes. We will gonna need three holes here for the wires and a big massive hole here for this thing to fit in and four small little holes for these four little buttons done these holes fit perfectly and then we can fit this wire inside here we only gonna need like a half millimeter press so I'm gonna reinforce it with some glue to prevent it from doing this and ruin everything
cool. Let's fix this. That's it. This should be enough. Now it's time to put it all together. Cool. Let's try to make it look a little bit better. First, I'm gonna paint the bottoms. Yeah, that's look better. Nice. And finally, to make it look a little bit less worse, I made this thing. This is from paper. And you can just attach it just like that. And now we just cover everything that you don't want to see. And finally, I'm happy to tell you that we are done. As you can see, we have the temperature, the humidity, the voltage, and the motherboard name. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Brave Knight. My main goal is to show you how you can do it. If you have better tools and resources, you can do it better, of course. But if you want to do it, have fun trying to make it better. But for me, with my resources, this is the best I can give you. This is the commercial one for my circuit board. As you can see, it's just a two plastic layer, and the circuit board will be just inside. And there is no protection for the buttons. The dust can still go inside from everywhere, and there is no outside buttons like the one that I did. So mine is actually better than the commercial one, and you have to pay for this one. Whoa! And I just made a better one for free. Let me show you how it looks like when it's on. It's perfect as you can see.